Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to give you my top two, four, six, eight MAC nude lipsticks in the bullet form. These are the nude lipsticks I gravitate to from MAC Cosmetics. Um, I have loved MAC since I first discovered makeup when I was really young. And these are the eight um, nude lipsticks that I use. One of them I am wearing today. Um, the one I'm wearing today is called Half and Half. You will see it in the video. Um, but I'm wearing a dark nude lip liner underneath as well to make it a little bit more 90s-esque. Um, you know, for me, with everything going on right now, I feel like doing my makeup and putting on my face in the morning is just something that is a routine that I like to stick to to make me feel relatively normal um, because there's so much uncertainty right now in this world I feel like just makeup application for me is therapeutic and I still will wear makeup for that reason um, so you know if you're like me and you wear it every day still then um, definitely check these out and uh, let me know if you add any to your shopping list. Um, okay, so with that said, I'm going to start off with a Viva Glam lip, uh, lipstick. This is a, is a satin formula. It's Viva Glam 2. Um, so that is what the color looks like. I'm not going to swatch on my hand because I have self tanner on and I don't want to rub it off right now. So I'm going to swatch on a white piece of paper. Um, that way you guys can see it on uh, a white background. So, um, Viva Glam 2. So it's really pretty. That's Viva Glam 2. It's more of like a muted rose, I would say, but it's very, very pretty, especially if you're looking for a my lips but better color. This is a nice one. Um, the next one I have is Blankety. It's an amplified formula. Um, that's what it looks like in the tube. I'm going to just put Blankety underneath. Blankety is more of a peachy esh undertone when you compare it to Viva Glam 2. Viva Glam 2 is more of a rosy toned. This is more of a burnt peachy undertone, which I like. Definitely up my alley. So blankety. Then I have Kinda Sexy. This is a matte formula. So the matte formulas are a little bit drying. Um, that's what they look like. I have gone through a, um, a kind of sexy tube already once before. It takes me a while, but I do. I can get through them. So this is what kind of sexy looks like. So that's kind of sexy. They're very similar, but in person there is a difference. This is more of an orangey, burnt orangey tone. Burnt spice type of deal. Um... So that one is that. Sorry guys. I'm trying to keep my swatches up. The next one is Cherish. And this is a satin formula. Their satin formulas are really comfortable. So that's what it looks like in a tube. Excuse my hands. I'm not really uh, doing my nails these days. So this is Cherish. It's more of like a brown. And you notice that these are not like pale colors because for me, pale does not look good on me. I'm more of an olive toned, right? So look at my half-ass like tanning skills here. Like what is this? What is that? I'm, I, that that's me doing a quick tanning, a tanning session. Look at this. Look, you can see my tan lines. How funny is that? Honestly, I, I don't really care because I'm not going anywhere. So just having a tan makes me feel better in a way. Um, and these days I'm trying to do what I can to help me feel better when we are in these trying times. Um, 
so this one is Velvet Teddy. This is another nice one I really do like. Um, let's see if I can. So that's Velvet Teddy. Again, they do look similar. They look similar, but in my eyes, they are different. Um, you also have to go with what your skin tone really goes well with. These are the ones that go well with my skin tone the best. This is half and half, and I was actually wearing half and half um, right now. And earlier today, I was wearing it when I went out to grab some lunch. So this is more of a brown. See that? More of a brown. But nonetheless, it's still nice. Um, I like wearing half and half because it reminds me of coffee. And it's a 90s look. So, you know, it is what it is. I don't, uh, I don't mind the 90s look. Um, two more, guys. Um, okay, so this one is a frost. And I'm not a fan so much of the frosted lipsticks by MAC. But this is the only one I will wear that is a frost formula, and it's Angel. Um, when I did my review of all of my lipsticks, I had a little background story with Angel from when I was younger. This is more of a pinky nude. And the background story to this one is that when I was younger, I had an obsession with the name... Angelo for reasons that I will not mention here <clears throat> and I always said I would one day marry my angel because Angelo is Italian for angel and um, I always repurchase this I think I've used this up now twice and repurchased twice because this is such a pretty color and it does have a little bit of a place in my heart so um for those of you who don't know i'm actually dating an angelo um and uh, i see good things i see good things um so yes mac angel is really pretty it's like a pink a nudie pink but it's really really nice on dark skin um then i have a satin which is uh this is a is called brave this is a little bit more i believe on the pinkier side but it's it's like i can't describe it i'll show you guys here so that's brave right here it's like pink but a deeper toned pink and those are the eight mac lipsticks that i own um, as you can see, they're more of a deeper lip color. My lip color underneath is pretty much, you know, give or take these colors here. Um, so whenever I put these on my lips, it just makes my lip, lips look even better. Except for, like, Angel is a little bit more on the pinkier side, so obviously it gives a little bit of a different shade. But as for the other nudes... Um, these are the ones that I find that my lip, my skin tone looks best with. Um, so what I would suggest you do is, if you're looking to buy a new lipstick, don't just buy something that looks good on somebody else. Look at what will look good with your skin tone. I learned that over the years, my excessive shopping habits, that... A pale purpley pink color is not going to look good on me. Looks good on somebody else, but doesn't look good on me. And that all in itself, it says a lot. So um, because we can't really test makeup right now in stores, what I suggest you do is go through your current collection and see what lip colors best suit your skin tone um, then use that lip color if it's from Sephora use it at Sephora and search for similar shades in other brands and it'll it'll tell you you know what color is you know similar to that where you'll find a similarity and a, um, a complement to your skin tone um, I used to watch 
pink sparkles years ago she is a Canadian from Saskatchewan she used to be a mortician and she ended up coming out of that job for health reasons because of the chemicals that they use anyways she's very 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 fair blonde like platinum blonde hair and she used to always wear um there was this mac mac snob always 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 used to wear mac snob used to say oh my god i love this color oh you should get it you know typically youtubers the big youtubers anyways and i went to go buy it and i think i maybe wore it half a day once and i never wore it again because the skin tone of mine doesn't match her fair skin. So Snob just didn't look exactly the same on me as it did as it did to her. Thank God I caught that. Um, so that's all I'm saying is just be mindful when you are shopping for colors for your lips. You want it to complement your skin tone opposed to making it look like a little bit ranchy you know what i mean raunchy ranchy i don't know pick a word whatever one you want to use um so with that said i just want to keep you guys educated and aware uh, i'm not going to be the type of person or the type of youtuber to say oh my god i love this color you need to go buy it no these are the colors that suit my skin tone. So if you're my skin tone, then you guys might like these. If you're fairer than me, these might come out a little bit dark on you. So just be mindful. If you're fair, much fairer than me, Snob might be a better option for MAC. But for me, I can't swing it. So anyways, moral of the story was that lipstick sat in my in my nightstand for like, I don't know, two or three years, it went bad and I ended up throwing it out, basically used only once. Waste of product, waste of money. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys what you should buy or what color you should buy. That's just not me. I will never do that. I'll show you guys what I like from my skin type and my skin tone. It'll be up to you to make the decision and the choices of what is best suiting for you and whatever needs that you have but anyways that was a little pep talk on the side these are the colors that I really do love for my MAC nudes um, I don't plan on buying any more MAC nudes for a while because I like to go through the ones I do have now this is eight of them and frankly eight is a lot um, considering we're not going anywhere for the next year let's be realistic here um, so I just wanted to show you guys the shades I had, give you guys some ideas. If you're on the market to go lipstick shopping, you know, online, virtually, even in store, I don't know if you'll be able to swatch them in store per se, because right now with the coronavirus, they they won't uh, allow to uh, share like testers and whatnot. Um, but you know, if your stores are open and you're able to go in, definitely do it for me. We're still closed here, so it's an online world right now. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed that. It was a quick, a quick, you know, video for the week. Um, let me know what nude lipsticks you are loving and what your skin tone is, just so I can kind of see where I'm, where I fall in that line to see if the that particular lipstick may suit me. I'd be interested to check them out. Um, any questions, let me know down below. Like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys. Mwah.